Hey guys, so two ton of dolly nearly moved. Make a start on the chippings later on. Not sure where they're going to go yet, but price was right. So I put down this fabric, which has protected the grass quite well. Cleaned up yesterday. So this is the stone, the gravel. It's going to go behind the sleeper wall. And there we are, guys. So all the stones have been moved around the back, cleaned the drive up. Looks okay, still some marks around here, but. You're going to get that when you get a delivery. So yeah, let's have a look on the back. Yep, guys. So this is the current. I need to get all this dolly moved out, especially the back area needs more dolly, dolly filling up. Get this leveled off. And then I'm going to take this sleeper, cut it in two, and that'll fit in the last gap of my wall. And then this sleeper is going to be cut as well to go and fit in this gap over here. Stay tuned. So, look at the bubble. I've seen a little bit more dolly under the back. So what I'll do is, go and knock some pegs in, into the ground. And use that spirit level all the way along to make sure that from the sleeper wall to the back it's level get this down whacker plated and this is ready as a base yet to make a decision on the back want to sleep along the back but then I might put a bit of a fall on the paving so the water will drain off and probably put some pebbles down at the back just a small gap so yeah looking good walls nearly finished two cuts to do another fence post to put in there get the wall built and then I'll assess to see about using these in the ground as a supporting factor for the whole wall. If you're curious, there's a bit of soil in there. Ready to start the backfilling process. Forget this, just put it there temporarily. But yeah, much better because before the levels were miles off on this floor, so really nice to see it coming along. Need to uh, start the steps next. Which hopefully I'll need a couple more sleepers. I do like the two-in style sleeper enclosed there. Uh, I think it'll look really nice when I get some lighting all the way along the wall. And then what we're going to do for the finish of the wall is I'm going to put a sleeper, lay down flat on there, fix it, and it'll be used as a bit of a seating bench. Um, and also it'll give me an extra sort of I think it's four inches, um, three inches, four inches. I think it is. An extra couple of inch on top there, which will be great because the level of the of the paving, um, as you can see, is not far off. So yeah, look great.
is um, membrane at the back of the wall, plastic membrane. I put some stones in for now um, because I'm going to be putting a drainage pipe along here with so we wrapped in some um, membrane that allows the water to go through into the pipe and we'll roll it off down this end and through and out the back so yeah that's what we're looking like for now get this done get this filled up today this side got excuse the trampoline that's a good old windy night the other day we've got the winds call but it's that guy we're gonna put a couple more posts in here and then we're gonna make the decision whether we're gonna dig out the front let me show you so I think I'm going to go one more sleeper up I just need to measure off the house first down to there to see what that looks like but for now uh, it's looking great I need to get this all whack a plate when I get five minutes this is going in the bin getting rid uh, I need to fix a post this side here trampoline bloody thing poor thing a couple of fence posts on the back so yeah now the snow has gone I've got two weeks at least to get what I want done here get the dolly all laid whack a plated out make sure the walls all fixed nice and strong and then we can plant start to plan uh, phase two which is slabbing so yeah Stay tuned guys.